He was awarded a knighthood for his contribution to the musical world as a legendary Beatles drummer. And Sir Ringo Starr looked understandably delighted as he arrived at the Los Angeles International Airport on Friday. The 77-year-old musical icon, who dubbed the award an honor, beamed and flashed a peace sign as he strolled out of the terminal. He warded off the December chill with a khaki parka jacket and completed his look with simple black jeans and trainers. He appeared to be in high spirits as he landed in the city, grinning widely and waving at the cameras as he headed outside. The drummer had been tipped for a knighthood several times, including by his former bandmate Sir Paul McCartney, who said in 2011 that it was about time. He acknowledged his knighthood with a short message, signed off with his trademark phrase peace and love. He said, it's great. It's an honor and a pleasure to be considered and acknowledged for my music and my charity work, both of which I love. Ringo was once jokingly described as not even the best drummer in the Beatles. The quip is often attributed to John Lennon but never verified that in 2011, Rolling Stone readers named him the fifth greatest drummer of all time. Ringo, real name Richard Starkey, joined the Beatles as a replacement drummer for Pete Best in 1962 and occasionally sang lead vocals, notably in Yellow Submarine and with a little help from my friends. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a Beatle in 1988 and again in 2015 for his solo career after the group split up. Starr maintained a high public profile through his narration over 1984-86 of the popular TV children's series Thomas and Friends, based on the Thomas the Tank Engine series of books. Also knighted in the honors list was BG's singer Barry Gibb and author Michael Morpurgo, while ballet dancer Darcy Bussell becomes a dame. The New Year's honors have been awarded since Queen Victoria's reign in the 19th century and aim to recognize not just well-known figures, but those who have contributed to national life through often selfless and unsung contributions over many years, 